hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. I am Tori Lynn. Let's blossom today. Today I'm going to be talking about my spring favorites, the products and the things that I have been loving this spring, things that I keep reaching for or using or wearing all spring long. I think I'm going to start with makeup because that's like my number one. Here's makeup, you know. Um, so I have been loving a few e.l.f. products that I picked up at the beginning of spring in March, I think. I think it was in March or at the beginning of spring and they're e.l.f. products. Um, I haven't ever really tried e.l.f., but I um, before I've used a few things, but I've never really been an e.l.f. makeup person. Um, so I decided to do a full face of e.l.f. makeup, um, a full video on that. And um, I found some products that I absolutely loved from that haul that I got. Um, the first one being the e.l.f. Uh, Sa Flawless Satin Foundation. I really, really like this foundation. It has just a really nice finish to it. It lasts a pretty long time. It just looks so good on the skin. And it's super, super cheap. I forget how much this was, but it was like five or six bucks maybe. I don't know. It was really cheap. So um, I just think that if you're looking for, you want a full coverage foundation that doesn't break the bank. And you could probably find it most stores. I mean, I mean even Walmart sells e.l.f. Um, so this foundation is super awesome. I absolutely recommend it. I have been pretty much every day that I do makeup, especially when I'm not filming, this is what I've been reaching for. And I still have a good amount left in here. It looks like I have over half the bottle left. So it's just a really good product as far as the way it wears and the way it looks. And it's a good bang for your buck situation. Another thing I have been loving from that e.l.f. haul that I did is the e.l.f. Sheer Tint Finishing Powder. Now I got mine in the shade Fair Light, and I don't remember if that was the lightest shade or not, but um, it just has such a nice, I'm wearing it today of course, has such a nice finish to it. It gives your foundation, your makeup just a little more coverage, but it doesn't make you too matte, and it doesn't give you too much coverage to where you look cakey. It's just a really good powder. Um, I kind of got out of using powders for a long time, um, like pressed powders for a long time. And uh, this kind of reintroduced me into the love that I have for pressed foundation powders. Um, I used to use the L'Oreal Infallible, I believe is what it is, the pressed matte powder. For a long time I used it and then I kind of got to where I was just using loose powder to set my foundation. And this, like I said, reintroduced me to my love for pressed powders. Now this one comes with a really good mirror and then it also comes, the product flops over and it comes with a sponge. Of course, I don't really use a sponge. I think I tested the sponge out in um, my haul video, but I don't use the sponge. Um, one last e.l.f. product that I have been loving is the um, e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. I'm also wearing that today. Um, I got mine in the shade Taupe. And I think it's perfect, especially for right now when I've got the mix of blonde and brown in my hair because my roots have grown out thanks to quarantine. Actually, they were already growing out and I've just gotten way worse since quarantine. But um, I typically am not a pencil lover. I usually go for pomades, but I picked this up because it was part of the haul and it was cheap. And I actually really like it. I think it makes my brows look a little more natural, not quite as dark and intense as they do a lot of the times when I use a pomade, although I use um, also the shade taupe and a pomade. I just use a different brand, obviously. But I have actually really, really love this. I have been wearing this every time that I do my makeup and I haven't even touched my pomade, which is absolutely unusual for me. But um, this is a really good one. Again, super cheap. I know they've really stepped up their game in the past few years and um, I just hadn't given them a chance and now I'm glad that I did. Another product that I have picked up so at the beginning of spring for on my channel was the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Um, I really, really like this setting mist one because it is just that continuous shower of setting spray. It just goes on, you know, it's just so light. It doesn't really feel like there's anything on your skin, but it really does 
set your makeup down so so well the fragrance isn't my favorite but I do know that you can get the Jeffree Star one that has more of a strawberry scent to it and this is also really cheap I think this was like $18 at Ulta which compared to a lot of the high-end, you know, like the Urban Decay setting sprays that are like $30 a piece, this is a really good deal. Um, the only downside I feel to this is it didn't last me as long because it's aerosol. I feel like it ran out. Um, I mean, it still has some and I've been using it pretty much every time I do my makeup for the last couple months. But I do feel like it's running out of product a little quicker than I would like. But for the price, you know, not a big deal if you can get a couple months out of this and buy a new one. It's worth it. So this is a product I picked up since quarantine at the beginning of quarantine probably a couple weeks and I was having really dry chapped lips where they just kind of burned and um, so I went on Ulta because you can't go into Ulta and I um, was looking at lip masks and this one is the I Do Care Plush Party Buttery Vitamin C Lip Mask. I have never tried this brand before. Their packaging's really cute. They got the little uh, emoji face on top and then just kind of this matte shiny plastic and then this matte translucent container plastic down here. I don't think it's glass, but maybe it is. This stuff is amazing. It goes on so creamy. It just coats your lips and makes them feel so, so good. So you take off the lid and it comes with a little spatula and then of course the little protective plastic piece. And then you, you don't, it said you need like a pea size amount, I believe was the, doesn't sound the back, but in the instructions that it came with, it said to use just a pea size amount and you don't even need that much. Um, you need like half that maybe. It coats your lips so great. It has made my lips feel so good. I use this several times a day. It's just, it's amazing. Um, if you're looking for a good lip mask, and this was pretty cheap. I want to say it was under $10, but it might have been under $15. I can't remember for sure, but it was super, super cheap. It's pink in the thing, but it does not leave a tint on your lips. It goes on once you, you know, rub it in, it goes, it's clear. It just leaves your lips that nice, glossy, yummy look, and that makes them feel amazing. So I have been wearing this every day if i'm not wearing lipstick then i probably have this on my lips if you're looking for a good mask this is a really really good one you can wear it all night or you can wear it um just as a everyday lip balm i also think it said you could leave it on for like so many minutes and wipe it off if you had other things it's just like a quick nourishment it's really really good absolutely love this product i'm so pleased with and glad that i picked it up another lip product i have been loving that I also picked up at the beginning of spring, which I know I was late to the train, is the Kylie Lip Kits. I know these have been out for years, and I just never bought one. I don't know why, I just never had the like want to buy one, I guess. But I picked um, a kit up in the shade Kylie. I love both of these, the lipstick and the lip liner, but I use the lip liner a lot. I think it's the perfect color and it goes with so many of my favorite lipsticks that I can throw this on and then throw anything else over top of it. Um, but I like the combo together. I especially love this combo with a little um, clear gloss over the top. I think it's really pretty. If you've watched my makeup videos, then you know that I have used this quite a bit on my channel. And that's because I just, I really like it. It's one that I reach for quite regularly. I would have worn it today except for I had it pulled aside to make this video. <laughs> One last makeup product and this is a really really new purchase to me. Um, actually my husband bought it for me a couple weeks ago after I talked about um, my favorite Ulta products which I will have all the videos that I reference in this video I will have linked down below. Um, so I talked about the Tartlet palettes in my Ulta brands, favorite brands from Ulta video. And um, I talked about how I had the original Tartlet and then the Tartlet in Bloom, which is their second palette. And then I did not have this Tartlet Toasted palette. And so my husband went and he bought it for me. And I have been, since I've gotten it, have used it a lot. It's just a gorgeous palette. I love the combinations of the mattes and the shimmers. It just has really pretty colors. And I think they're great for spring because they're not too dark. They're not too light. You could throw a light crease color in your crease you could throw just a little shimmer on the lids you can get dark and glam if you want it's just a really really good product I talked about in that video but if you guys are looking 
you don't know much about makeup and you're wanting to get into a starter eyeshadow palette these are not that cheap I think they're like $45 or something I can't remember for sure it's been a while since I have purchased one but um the tartlet palettes are amazing they're Amazonian clay they smell like chocolate and they're just so easy to work with the shadows blend out so smoothly so seamlessly and they're each palette is its own color scheme but the color scheme just goes so well together and I just think this is like the perfect spring palette because I'm not a bright vibrant kind of makeup look person on the day to day this palette is perfect and I absolutely love it and I appreciate my husband for buying it for me it was really sweet of him it was actually a surprise um, the doorbell rang and I was like I wasn't expecting a package today and I went out and I was like an Ulta box what did I order from Ulta and then I opened it up I'm like oh my gosh my husband ordered me this such a sweetheart thank you babe I love it um, okay so let's move into hair now um, obviously my hair is quite processed um, needs a refresher because well quarantine but um, there are two conditioning products that I use on the regular that have saved my hair so much for the past almost three years probably I have been lightening my hair I wore my hair really dark uh, like a dark kind of red brown purpley brown for a couple years then I decided that I wanted to go back to my blonde my husband liked the blonde more he liked me either way but he liked the blonde more because that's what I was when we started dating and so I had really long blonde hair and then I you know did the normal girl thing and cut my hair short and um, anyways it's still I just keep it really blonde so there are two products that I have been loving this I got on a subscription a while back and I just I really do like it I use it every time I wash my hair which is only once a week and I just do a couple pumps on this side couple pumps on this side couple pumps in the back and that's it so you don't need a ton of product but this is the Way hair care leave-in conditioner um, I when I first got this I didn't love the smell but now I really like it it's kind of a like it's got kind of a musky sexy scent to it if that makes sense um, it smells actually pretty good and it's just a really thick great leave-in like I said every time I wash my hair get out of the shower I spritz this in and um, just let it dry with it um, sometimes I will spritz it in and throw my hair up in a bun or something to leave it to kind of really soak in but this stuff is amazing. Um, another product I like from Way is their hair oil is really good. Way is a great brand, um, but their this leave-in is just amazing. This product is a product I have been using probably since I started going blonde. It is the Redken All Soft Heavy Cream. I really like Redken products, and the All Soft line is really good. But this heavy cream is amazing. It is what I use instead of a standard conditioner every time I shower. I a lot of times not since quarantine so much but usually use the um, matrix total results brass off shampoo which I talked in my about in my winter favorites and I let that sit in my hair for a few minutes rinse that out and then I use a pretty good amount of this like a golf ball size you know blob in my hand about like that a nice little pile of it in my hand and then I run it through the ends of my hair probably like here down and I let that sink in while I do my shaving and my other shower things I think this has saved my hair so so much everything I put it through um, this is what you know saves my hair this is what saves the day it's an amazing product it is kind of pricey but being that I only wash my hair once a week this lasts me probably six months or more obviously if you used less than I do it would last you longer it, this runs $22 at a typical store at Ulta or wherever I absolutely recommend I like I said it's just this has saved my hair it's my holy grail for conditioners I don't even buy conditioner anymore I usually buy a shampoo that I want and then I buy this so um, if you're weird about mixing and matching they do have an entire line they have the shampoo a standard conditioner and the all soft brand and then they have a hair mask that is like a leave on you know when you leave in for 15 minutes or whatever and then rinse it out this one is not like that you can use this as a more of a mask but it works great like I said it's a conditioner that you leave on for 
I probably leave it on for about five minutes while I do the rest of my shower business. I will be sad if they ever stop making this. One last thing I have for kind of more beauty. This is a perfume. I have been loving this perfume. I got it sometime at the, towards the end of winter, I believe, from Maurice's. This is their um, scent in the shade Lucky Me. I think this was like an, an $18 to $20 purchase, so not an extremely expensive bottle of perfume but not super cheap either I think you can go to like rue 21 and actually get some good perfumes for like 12 bucks or something I just really like this scent it's got a very nice um spring scent to me it's kind of clean it's slightly florally without being too floral because sometimes or a lot of times floral stuff can give me headaches I don't really know what the scent is is to be honest but I absolutely love this scent they had a couple really good ones this one isn't really sweet it's a little more musky but I just think it's perfect for the springtime I'm pretty sure that I had bought in this or gotten this perfume years ago but I think it had a different name and it definitely had different packaging but um, I really really like this perfume so let's move into more accessories. So my favorite pair of earrings this spring, because I wear earrings every day, I wear hoops or danglies, typically hoops. But these have been my favorite. Um, These I got from Target and I don't remember the brand now, but I got these from Target. They're like a hexagon hoop situation. I like that it's skinny and round on this side and then it's flat and a little thicker through here. Um, I like the hexagon shape. It's a little more geometric. It's a little more boho. I think they're really cute. And they're like a bronze more than a gold. They're kind of, well, they're kind of, they're like a matte gold, I guess. Um, they're not quite dark enough to be what I would call bronze, but I think that these go really cute. They're really simple, yet cute statement with so many outfits. I um, probably would have worn these today except for I was going to show them to you. So um, I threw on these other hoops that I really like, but these are the ones that I tend to reach for the most. They're just really, really cute. I bought these, like I said, at Target probably sometime last summer and I've worn them lots, but this spring they have been like my go-to pair of earrings. So I don't know if they still have them in stock. All these things that I am mentioning, I will link down below and if I can't find them like these earrings, I will find something as close to them as I can and link them. Another thing I have been loving this spring accessory wise are headbands, which I know headbands have been a thing for a while. Um, but I don't usually have the shape of head for a good headband, but I bought these to pull my hair back when I'm filming or doing my makeup, and I've actually started to really like them. I wear them a lot. Um, I bought a bag of 18 of these, all different colors, different designs. None of them are plain. They all have patterns or designs on them. I got them on Amazon for super cheap. I think it was like 12 bucks or something to that effect for 18 of them, and um, this one is silk. They're all different textures as well. This one is silk. It's kind of a emerald green, like a blue green and emerald green with um, some neutral flowers on it with a little bit of pops of like fuchsia. Um, I think this is really cute. I wore this um, with my hair kind of down in a low uh, bun with some kind of pieces framing my face and like a cute black tee and some denim shorts. It was just really cute. And um, this one is my favorite. This is more of a um, muslin type of material. It's white with black stripes. And you, I know you've seen for sure this one and this one on my channel. Um, these are both the same material. This one's, you know, mustard with some um, navy blue and white flowers. And I just like both of these. And um, I love mustard colored clothing and accessories. Um, it's just a fun bright spring color and of course black and white is like my go-to staple all year round I love black and white. Well, I love white with black stripes It's just like my favorite aesthetic. I love or even gray. I love stripes in general. It just has this casual cute beachy vibe to it which is what I live for um, Headbands have been a great thing. I'm um, especially now that the weather's getting warmer 
Um, I can toss it on with a low ponytail or a cute bun and dress up a look. I can just pull my hair back with it. I even one day used one of these as like a hair tie because I didn't have anything else and I was wearing this. Um, they're just a really cute, fun accessory. Um, and the last item I'm going to say for accessories, I'll count these ex as accessories, is this pair of espadrille sandals. Um, they're really cute, strappy espadrilles. They've got the, um, I'm assuming this is probably faux leather. I doubt it's real leather. But um, it's suede on top. And then um, it's got some stretchy situation here if you need the extra stretch. And it's just got a cute little buckle loop around the ankle. And this is the brand from the brand Dolcetta, I believe. Um, my aunt actually bought these for me for Easter. Every year for Easter, she buys shoes. That's her thing. She gets everybody a pair of shoes. She didn't even know I wanted these. And <laughs> I went and showed her what was on my Amazon wish list. And I had a pair. Maybe it was, maybe it was there from American Eagle. I don't know. They were a pair almost identical to these. I'm like, that is what I was wanting. They are stiff walking in them. Um, they're kind of like a wedge. You know, there's no give to them. But they're actually pretty comfortable. They are really cute. Um, and I tend to, uh, you know, grab these a lot. I like to wear jeans and roll up the ankle so you have a little bit of skin showing. Or with a pair of shorts. Just really cute. You could wear this with a dress. These are super versatile shoes that can just dress up any look. I think they're just really, really cute. And they're pretty comfortable. Now let's move more into clothes. There are a few things that I have been wearing a lot this spring. Um, this I got in my spring fab fit fun. This is a like um, kimono style cardigan situation. It is from the brand Donny. It's D-O-N-N-I. This is a one size fits all, but it's got these nice loose um, three quarter sleeves. It's got pockets and it's white and gray striped, which again I talked about is like my favorite aesthetic especially for clothing no like neutral stripes is what i like <laughs> and um it's really comfortable it's lightweight it's a very um cottony material i'd say it's just really cute just throw on with a cute top and some jeans and it just it, it's pretty long um it comes down i think past the knee or maybe no i think it's mid thigh now if i think about it um it's just it's really cute and there's so many ways to dress this. You know, you could do it with a dress, you could do it with shorts, you could do it with jeans. My favorite way is to wear it with a pair of like cut up kind of mom jeans with a roll at the ankle, some cute sandals, and um, a really cute top. I just think that this is really cute, really comfortable. I even wear it just lounging around the house some days. It's a nice staple piece for the warmer weather. Um, I'll probably be wearing it into summer as well. It would also be nice kind of as a cover-up if you're going to the beach. You're going to land the cabana or whatever. Going to the pool. Wearing a swimsuit would be a nice little cover-up to wear. Um, like I said, because it's such a light fabric, it's not going to be too warm. Um, it's just going to give you a nice, you know, little coverage. I really like this. I don't know what this retails for. Um, because like I said, I got it in my FabFitFun. I have loved this piece. It has been a huge staple in my wardrobe. Now, because we're all in quarantine, we all got your favorite comfies. You know, everybody's got their favorite comfies. And this has been one of my favorite comfies. My husband bought this for me for my birthday. I've talked about it in my vlogs and stuff. This is a Halor sweatshirt from Samantha Jo here on YouTube. I will link her channel down below if you have not checked her out. Go ahead and check her out. She's really funny. I started watching, following her channel sometime last fall and fell in love with her. And I love soft blush pinks, rose golds, you know, just a pale pink is like my favorite color. Aside from gray, I think gray is honestly my favorite color, but um, I really aesthetically like a light pink and I just thought this was really cute. It's just a hoodie. It's got, you know, your little pocket and your drawstrings and it says hello, which I can't say like she can. She has like this uh, accent that she does 
and says it, and I'm just, I sound like an idiot when I try to say it, but it's so soft on the inside. It's so comfy. It's really thick. It's just a really good sweatshirt, and I wear it a lot. I wear it a lot, a lot. And while the weather was cool, it was nice to be able to throw on a sweatshirt. I throw this on a lot when I'm walking down the mailbox or when I'm running to the store and I just don't want to care. It's such a great sweatshirt. It's so comfy to just lounge around in. I'm so happy that I got this. I love hoodies and sweatshirts anyways, but this one is just so cute. Go support Samantha Joe. My last clothing item and actually my last item for the video is this pair of striped linen paper bag shorts. Another striped item from Maurice's like a month or so ago. I ordered them online. I work actually like right next door to Maurice's so I had been in and seen these shorts and didn't want to pay full price because they were like $40. And I know that's not that expensive, but I was like, is it worth it? Like, I don't know. I just couldn't bring myself to buy them. They're really cute though. I was scrolling through Facebook or Instagram or some social media and Maurice's was advertising that they were having 30% off their entire site. And so I went on, I think it was 30% off. Might have been more, I don't remember. They were having a discount on their entire site. And so I went and I nabbed these shorts. They're linen material. They are a neutral stripe. So right up my alley. They just, to me, scream beachy, comfy, cute, casual vibe, which is so me. I love that it's got these little bamboo buttons on the pockets, but the pockets are still large enough that you can clearly fit your hand in without unbuttoning them. It's got um, this nice little ruffle top, so it's cute for tucking in shirts. And then it has a nice little um, tie around the waist. You can either cinch or kind of wear it kind of loose. The back doesn't have any pockets or anything. It's just plain in the back. I love this item one because it's gotten me out of my comfort zone. Showing my lower tummy is not my favorite thing, being a bigger girl. But um, these shorts are really cute and I think they just flow really nicely. They don't hug too tight and they're just really, really cute. They're such my style. I bought this with a mustard tank, like a kind of goldenrod mustard tank that I like to tuck into this and then wear a pair of white sneakers with it is so cute you can wear it with sandals but white sneakers are like my favorite spring and summer shoe when i want to look a little more casual or i know i'm going to be doing a lot of walking i just love wearing some white sneakers especially with shorts so cute well that does it for my spring favorites these are all products that i have been loving all spring long and now that we're coming to the end of spring it's just right around the corner um, June is in like a few days, which absolutely blows my mind. I'm not sure where the time has gone, but we're getting to the end of spring. So I thought I would show you guys what products and things that I have been loving this spring. Like I said, I will link everything that I can down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I will see you in my next video. Bye.